Hey, Bosco Piper UK. It is the 10th of May 2016. My earlier video from this morning, I think I said the 9th, I actually recorded that this morning, so it was also the 10th. I'm uh, smoking my uh, Boswell pipe with some Penzance. Um, so if you saw my earlier video today, I did an unboxing of um, some pipe stands from Paul Turnock. So I've just finished organising them. So I just thought I'd show everybody my new uh, pipe and tobacco corner. So I'll just go back so you can get a full picture. So that gives you an idea of where we're at. My tobacco cupboard has gone absolutely nuts recently. Far too many tobaccos. I'll just give you a bit of a close up. So that I'm sure everybody recognises. That's uh, 304 Woodworks, Jason Bruno, Ashtray, and the remnants of my Corum cigar, which I uh, started earlier on. Let's get that out of the way. So, that's some of the pipes you may have seen before. That's a um, Moretti, which I use for sampling. It's got a small little bowl, beautiful lightweight pipe. David Jones, don't smoke that as often as I should. Pot pipe, that's new unsmoked. Gabe's pipes. That is a Dagner P5 uh, stunted poker. In actual fact, um, haven't smoked that for a while as well. Um, Paul's pipe, Paul Menard, stubby pot. Well, it's not a stubby, I've got several different uh, stems for that, as you can see in other videos. Um, fantastic pipe. I smoke um, tobaccos that tend to get hot, like Virginia's, and that. Sorts it out, no problem. That's one of the tampers which Paul sent me today, made out of uh, walnut wood. Beautiful, beautiful tamper, I love that. And that's another one from Paul Turnock, Spalted Wood. Boswell, Mini Oom Paul. Absolutely love that pipe. This is a Nording, Nording Egg. Most stunning grain, probably, out of all my pipes. Um, the contrast, high contrast on this is just amazing. Got some plenty bird's eye on the bottom there. I bought this as an estate pipe from the Danish pipe shop. I tend to smoke English blends in there. Well, most of my pipes are now going to English. This is another Boswell. This is an exceptionally good smoker. Beautiful pipe to look at as well. Great grain. Bird's eye. Interesting shaped uh, stem there. Very comfortable bit. Beautiful smoker. This is my SAV 606, 790, Christmas 2015. Uh, actually, it might have been 2014, I'm not sure. This is what is dedicated to Cult Blood Red Moon, one of my first pipes which really got me into the game. This is a new pipe I haven't smoked yet, made by a Polish carver. Lovely little pipe, beautiful, lightweight. Looking forward to breaking that one in. And we have Dagner Christmas Poker, Lump of Coal from last year. Phenomenal pipe. Brilliant, brilliant smoker. Brilliantly made. This is my second Jake Hackett, which I generally smoke Boswell's Cherry Smashing. Beautiful pipe. Smokes amazing. Um, this is from Blue Hill Crafts from Yanis. Guy in Latvia. Relatively new carver. Beautiful, lightweight. Very economical to buy. Fantastic pipe seen a fair amount of use. This is a Pat Higgins pipe, I've only smoked this once or twice. Phenomenal grain on this, beautiful grain. American carver, stunning grain on this. It's got some, uh, I'm not sure what the wood is, the band in the middle, some kind of exotic wood. And we have a Bones Hanging Brandy. I haven't smoked that too many times, but it's a nice little pipe. And we have a cherry wood. From JJ Fox, one of their box pipes, um, or basket pipes rather. They say they're made by uh, Dunhill or Parker, I don't know. No reason not to believe them. And my recent Boswell, beautiful pipe. It's already seeing a fair amount of use. Copper stand made by Paul Turnock as well. Couple of tampers, 
Rough Works um, from Rick Ruff, beautiful. This one is, um, if you look at my video from earlier today, my, the pipe I've got in the car is a BJV pipe. BJV says Baba J Vegas, he made me this uh, tamper out of the same, this stuff is the same stuff as the stem, it matches the bullet shell. Beautiful tamper that. This little nail comes out the top to be used as a pick. This um, stem that goes together with the Paul's pipe over there. And this is another Paul Menard pipe, reverse calabash, beautiful, huge chunky brandy, amazing pipe. So that is uh, essentially my pipes that I'm using. I've got a, another maybe 18 or 20 in a drawer, um, which uh, I have some plans for, which will become clear in the fullness of time. And tobacco wise, I'll just give you a quick breeze of the tobacco. Um, Cornell and Dill Autumn Evening from Jason Brunner, Northwards, another batch of Northwards, that's my uh, Northwards, Mr. Derek Brighton, various Frog Mortons, various Boswells, um, Bat with a Hat, Jermaine Special Latakia Flake, more Frog Mortons, more Boswells, Penzance, Cult Blood Red Moon, Mr. Margate, Frog on a Log, and some local blend American whiskey by Frederick Tranta. We've got some Sleepy Hollow up there, some Mississippi River, which I do not like. Vanilla Cream, Seattle Pipe Club Plum Pudding, Dunhill, Briar Boy English Legacy, Cornell and Deal, a um, couple more Buzzwells, and some unopened stuff, some tins there. Um, I think there's some Special Attica Flake, some Cult, some Abacus, some Blood Red Moon, I think some Margate. That kind of deal. So that is basically my tobacco corner at the moment. I'm really working hard to try and uh, make my pipe collection more concise and to be working pipes, in other words pipes which I'm going to smoke on a regular basis. But more on that to come in the near future. So this is my tobacco corner. I wish everybody a very pleasant and mellow evening and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. I cannot leave. I'd be very remiss if I didn't say a huge shout out to Paul Turnock. Obviously that was the purpose of this video. Pipe stands. This is the middle one is the first one which is made from spalted wood and um, it's absolutely phenomenal. He's done a fantastic job. And then the two that I opened today that I got today that's that one made out of oak. They're both made out of oak. The two on the right, one on the right and one on the left. This one has been made to look rustic. And that one is straight oak and he's done a fantastic job don't they look great there pipes look great and um, originally his idea was to do um, a metal rack where the pipes would be upside down and the stems would go into the hole but i didn't fancy the idea because it would mean that the tobacco whatever juices was left in the pipe would run down the stem which i didn't really like the idea of so he came up with this which is a traditional idea but he's done it in a unique way and uh, I'm absolutely loving them and I will treasure them and I will use them. And a final thank you to Paul. Thank you very, very much indeed. I am extremely, extremely grateful and I will enjoy using them. Thanks. Cheers.